Okay, Matt, Tyler, hey, congratulations for Screen 6. Thank Welcome you. back to the franchise, the franchise that never seems to die. <laughs> <laughs> it is unkillable. It is proving to be unkillable. <clears throat> <laughs> well, you guys are um, back at once again. And uh, tell tell us, um, to us, like, do you feel that need and pressure to dial it up even more by coming back into something like this again? Yeah, on some <laughs> level. Yes. We felt we felt I think the thing that we really felt going into this one is that we wanted to make sure that we it wasn't exactly dial it up, although that's how it ended up playing out in a lot of ways. But it was we had to go in a different direction than what we did in Scream 5. We just wanted to make sure that we weren't retreading. We weren't like, you know, resting on our laurels or whatever from Scream 5. And a big part of that was let's go just fucking crazy on this one. Let's like, you know, blow the roof off. And I think, you know, hopefully that really comes through that there's just a manic energy <laughs> to this one. <laughs> I, I, because uh, one of the things that is always funny is because uh, Min, Min, you had, you have Mindy telling us the rules again. And I'm just sitting there waiting because especially with you guys, it's like, why do we even, even have these rules? Why don't you just, I tell Mindy to say, fuck the rules. Anything goes. Who knows? That, I love that idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. <laughs> Who knows? That, I love that idea. That's a great idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. I think that there are certain things, there are certain ingredients like the rules scene that um, they're really valuable to Guy and Jamie and really valuable to us because it 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 gives you... It gives you a moment, a really specific moment where, and Mindy and Jasmine does this so beautifully, where the movie like reaches through the screen and grabs the audience and says, hey, we're here having fun. Like we're aware, we are aware as characters in this movie of the experience you're having. And there is a, um, I think there's a level of freedom in that for us. It, it allows us to make some choices and go to a place that maybe we wouldn't normally be able to go, especially when you're making a movie that has to feel so grounded and, and grounded and violent and scary. You want a character like Mindy and you want a performer like Jasmine to confidently tell you, the audience member, it's okay, we're having fun. Just come along for the ride, it's gonna be okay. And I think that, you know, those rule scenes are really are really the sort of keystone, the Rosetta Stone of, of that very specific tone in a lot of ways. A lots of fans of Scream will love this because there's a lot of fan service, there's a lot of Easter eggs and all this kind of stuff. I mean, my only complaint, watching this on the big screen is that I can't press pause. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, when you guys were doing this film, I mean, how much research did you get, you two actually have to put into the, to make all this effort to showcase a lot of this stuff? I mean, it's one of the things we love about the, making these movies is that it's, we know that the audience is excited for those little hidden, you know, nods and Easter eggs and winks. And so we really take the time to make sure that they're, Anywhere you want to look, you can see something kind of fun. And, you know, and, and, and I, it, when we're making the movie, the, the art department, costume designer, everybody gets involved in it. Everybody kind of has fun with that. And so it's it becomes a real it becomes a real group effort to like, how can we instill as much of the legacy of this franchise into this movie in a way that's hopefully never distracting or it's not taking away from the actual story, but just enriches it. And like you're saying, if you want to sit at home and pause it and look for stuff, it's there. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> my my only disappointment was you guys need more gore and violence. Oh, <laughs> well, that's you're, the first, you're the first to say that. All right. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I expected more from Radio Sounds. More gore and more violence well, next all right, time. All right. Noted. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, guys. Really good talking to you. Thank you.